Oh shucks. We're gonna be shucking some oysters. Scoop that out and come down in here and make sure the oyster is free. And we don't lose those juice juices. So taste test number one. Hi. And I are gonna shuck some oysters. Well, mainly me trying to teach him. And by me trying to teach him, I'm gonna show you guys. Get ready. All right, so taste test number one. You wanna say hi to everybody? We haven't seen you in quite I, a while. It's, it's, it's been, been a hot it's minute. It's been a little while, yes. All right, so my wife and I have been on an expedition to get some oysters. And we have been trying to get some oysters and it just hasn't worked out. So today, earlier today, I got some oysters. I got 50 oysters from the restaurant depot. And Tasteless number one decided he wanted to go play with his friends and not eat oysters with us. <laughs> but I got some horseradish and some cocktail sauce and some lemons. And we have a tray right here. So I'm going to show him how to get this done. And then we're going to see if he can get it done. All right, so. all right. So. You think you can do it? I think so. All right. So here, hold that. All right. So there were 50 oysters in here, but you know, we we were hungry earlier. All right. So I don't know where this top is. Okay. So first and foremost, I have a glove on, and I have a oyster. I don't know what this is specifically called chucking knife it, i don't know i don't know either all right so let's i'm going to start by turning on the water and i'm going to rinse these off so let's get half a dozen out how many do you want six six all right usually you may want to use a brush or something like that but you know we're not fancy just gonna make sure any thing is knocked off We put a hurt on these 50 oysters. It hurt too quickly. All right, there's six. Okay. So now when you have your oyster, there's a flat side and there's a cup side of the oyster. You always want to have your cup side down and your flat side up. When you use your knife, you're going to put it in here. Now, I'm just going to hold this firmly, push in, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So you're gonna just push in and wiggle at the same time until it pops and I can feel it popping and it popped. Now I'm gonna open this up slightly, get the knife, take the knife and turn it upside down and scrape the roof of the oyster so it comes apart. Try not to lose the juices in the oyster. Oh, not yet. Come on. There we go. No. Goodness gracious. All right. We got the oyster off, the, the, the roof. Now we're gonna check in here to make sure there's nothing, basically nothing growing. Cause if you get some real good oysters, there can and will be things in the oyster. I'm gonna scrape the oyster itself away from the shell and we're gonna flip it upside, well, up so that the juices don't run away. Same thing, there's a flat side and a cup side. Cup side down. In here, you'll see the, the little, there's like a hinge. Get your shocking knife in between the hinge. Now this one worked a lot easier, which is great. Scoop that out and come down in here and make sure the oyster is free and we don't lose those juice juices. Again, cup side down. Just enough to get the knife in. Scrape the ceiling of the shell. It comes apart. All 
All right, you ready? Sure. If you want, want me to do another one, you can try those two. I'll try. I'll try one. You sure? You mm -hmm. do one? I'll do one more, and then you can do those two. All right. So see again. Here's the flat side. Here's the cup side. Okay. There's a natural separation between them. I'm just gonna push the knife in, pry it up, turn the knife over, scrape until the roof comes free. Now I'm checking in here for, and checking in there for any foreign degree, debris. And we're just gonna set that down. All right, you ready? Sure. All right. All right, taste number one is gonna try it out. So try to hold it flat so that the juices don't run out. You gotta really, hold on, hold on, let me see. Flip, hold it, what's the right? Okay, so it is right, just, yep. I make it look easy, don't I? Mm -hmm. I think you got easier work. No. Get out of here. So push it in there and pry it. There you go. Now scrape the top. Stick it all the way down in there and scrape the top. See, you're losing all your juices there. You gotta remember to hold it flat. Go all the way down and across. Mm -mm. So stick the knife in and under, just on the inside and scrape it, scrape it all the way in and across. There you go, perfect. Now look in there, make sure there's no crabs or worms or anything else in there. And then put it on the tray. Oh, great. So the same piece that you had on the top that you had to scrape apart is on the bottom. So it's right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. So scrape it apart. Yep. And off. Perfect. Don't lose the juices. All right. Put it on the tray. Level as possible. All right. That'll work. Go ahead. Turn the knife over. Yep. Push it in further. Hold it flat. Yep. Other way. Push it in wiggle. Yep. Twist. There you go. Now remember, turn the knife over. Turn the knife over. I'm trying to get it up like a higher. go all right it's great perfect we're gonna put it on the tray right, grab another couple let's fill up the tray right. are you trying to pick and choose which ones just pick them they're not going no so this looks like two and yeah, I don't know. It looks like a shell hanging on. You're going to leave it there. You're a coward. Just do it. Rinse it off. That's all right. Just put like another three or four on the... That's good. You just want like the loose shell bits. Let me put a hurting on these. Keep the water on. <laughs> Hurry up. All right, you want to do more or that's enough for you? Do more. All right. So how? So much easier. What is? That one, just now. Yeah, it, you know, it's the luck of the draw. Sometimes they're easy and sometimes they're not. You got the easy ones. Oh, I didn't get the easy ones. I make it look easy. Oh, 
Alright. Yeah, make sure it's level so the juices don't run out. Good job. Stick the knife in further. Hold it flat, remember. Mm, sorry. That's sorry. your oysters that are losing the juices, not mine. Push in, twist. A little further. So try to go in. No, no, no. So you should be able to hold it flat and go in at about a 45 degree angle. There you go. And twist. There you go. So now stop, stop, stop. Before you push all of the shell inside of the uh, of the oyster, rinse the, the knife off. Oh, you gotta scrape the top off. Perfect. Sorry. I'm gonna start it. Now look in there, make sure there's no crab or anything. See anything Where? in there? You'll you would you would see it. Okay. Trust me. Try to make a level. Alright. You got one more right there. So scrape that into the sink. Just use your gloved hand and slide it into the sink. Yeah, there you go. Clean work surface. Other way. Yep, that way. Mm. See what happens when you don't get it all the way in the hand? You just taking off layers of the shell. Turn to the left a little bit. You turn to the left a little bit so you can have more light. You're blocking your light. There you go. Nope. And further, push, push, push. There you go. Twist. Yes. All right. Scrape the top. Good catch. All right. So be careful letting it sit. <laughs> Breathing again. Be careful letting it sit, so that you don't let those juices run out of the oyster. But you're doing great. Let's move this here. Stick that one right in there. Right. Try to keep this level. You good or you want to do more? Do more. All right. Rinse. Killed 50 oysters that fast. Got your long boy there. All right. Turn to the left a little bit so I can see. There you go. Twist, twist. Well, well, boys, twist. So when you're doing that, don't turn it. Like, don't pick it up. Try to keep it flat as possible. Or again, to keep the juices inside of the oyster. There you go. Push in, twist, twist. Don't get frustrated. There you go. Nope. Just knock those in the sink. Knock it in the sink. Forty-five degree angle. There you go. Push in before you twist. Try another one. Yeah. Try another one. 
but all right. Other way. Sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Not really. That one looks kind of even. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Scrape it out. Oh, almost. See how you let the oyster just kind of sit there? Yeah, hey, don't apologize. There's a crab right there. Knock it out. So hold on, let me get. You go. Knock it out. Push it in the sink. Don't. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just like saw bits of it in there still. Mm -hmm. They don't tell you about when they shut oysters. Oh, I can have that one. So hold it up. Let me see. So this, this is the the flat side, and this is the round side. Okay. So the hinge is right in here, perfect. Push in a forty-five degree angle, and twist, rock, rock the the neck. There you go. Scrape the ceiling. Scrape the bottom. Let's see that. All right, you can. You done? Or you want to try that one again? Just put it down. Okay, rinse it off. Sure. Talking to it. I'm just trying to like look where I here or up kind of here somewhere. I would kind of need to feel it, but right in there, it looks like is where it probably is going to be here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I just gotta turn the knife over. Yep, and 45 degree angle. There you go. Push, 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 push. No. All right. That might be a dud. You know, we'll just have to chalk that one up to the game. Here, if you want, I can try it. Here. All right. I can feel it hinging. You go ahead and eat whichever ones you want. So there's cocktail sauce, horseradish, and there's some uh, lemons. There's uh, Tabasco out in the family room. Those are all for you. All of them. Yeah, you can have them all. Yeah. You don't want that many? I don't know if I want that many. Tabasco? Oh. Oh, you're playing it safe with the horseradish? Speak up. A little. That one's not. Oh, well, that's crystal. There's Tabasco out there. Tabasco is a little hotter.
really? You gonna put all that hot sauce on one? What about the other? They're like stepped up. Okay. It's like nothing. The little. Oh, okay. Normal, I get it. That's like how I normally dress them, and it's like okay. the whole like one. All right. They're oysters. oysters. Yep. <laughs> These are oysters. No, I think we'll put them in the middle, so. All right, come on. Get up the nerve to eat it or something? Nah, no. <laughs> See, all right. The horseradish. Mm -mm. I finished scraping it. Mm. it didn't come off all at once. All right. Mm-hmm. Ice cream with that one. <laughs> but it's a shell. Mm -hmm. Something there should be kind of. I don't know. All right. But yeah, I'm gonna... you're good. No, I'm gonna get probably. Oh boy! So a little bit of action after the action. He put some gator shake, just a little bit too much gator shake on that oyster there. Spread, them out. spread it out. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Try that. Gator shake. It's too much oil, but it's good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can't not have some oysters with them. Cheers. Mm. I got her going. Salute. <laughs> Salute. Oh, no? No, it's fine. Stop. No, 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 I'll eat it, though. So sure. This is cocktails. This is fine. All right, ready? Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. This has been torturous enough for you guys. Get yourself some oysters. So I got these oysters from the Restaurant Depot and my local restaurant depot, these 50 oysters were like 25 bucks. So they were like 50 cents per. When you go out and you have oysters, they are probably no less than $3 a piece. So do yourself a salad, save yourself a couple of dollars and get yourself some oysters. Get yourself a shucking knife, shuck your own oysters and teach, teach one how to shuck some oysters. So when I'm not here or if I'm not here tomorrow, he can shuck his own oysters and cook his own oysters. Thank you so very much as always for watching. We will see you, see you. all right next time.